troubleshooting of the IAC valve, DTC 14, 14-3, P1519. Conduct a troubleshooting when the MIL is illuminated using the Honda PGM tester. First, reset the ECM PCM. Turn the ignition switch on. Wait for several seconds until the ECM PCM checks for the conditions of the system. Read the DTC. If DTC 14-3 is displayed, then it's confirmed that there is an error somewhere in the IAC valve circuit. Conduct troubleshooting when an error is found. Power supply check. Turn the ignition switch off. Disconnect the 3P IAC valve connector from the IAC valve. Turn the ignition switch on. Measure voltage between the IAC valve connector terminal number 2, yellow with black wire, and body ground. If there is battery voltage, it's okay. The wiring between the PGM-FI main relay and IAC valve is judged to be normal. Ground line check. Turn the ignition switch off. Check for continuity between the IAC valve connector terminal number 1, black wire, and body ground. If there's continuity, it's okay. The wiring from the IAC valve to the ground point G101 is judged to be normal. Wiring check between ECM, PCM, and IAC valve. Disconnect the ECM, PCM connector A. Check for continuity between the ECM, PCM connector terminal A12, black with red wires, and the body ground. If there is no continuity, it's okay. The state of insulation of the wiring between the ECM-PCM and the IAC valve is judged to be good. If there is continuity, repair open in the wire between the ECM-PCM connector terminal A12 and IAC valve. Connect the IAC valve connector terminal number 3, black with red wire, and body ground with a jumper wire. Check for continuity between the ECM-PCM connector terminal A12 and body ground.
If there is continuity, the wiring is okay. The wiring from the IAC valve to the ECM PCM is judged to be normal. If there is no continuity, repair open in the wire between the ECM PCM connector terminal A12 and IAC valve. IAC valve check. Connect the IAC valve connector to the IAC valve. Turn the ignition switch on. Measure voltage between the ECM PCM connector terminal A12, black with red wires, and body ground. If the battery voltage is indicated, then suspect that the ECM PCM is faulty. Substitute the original unit with a properly working ECM PCM unit and recheck the symptoms and the DTC indication. If the battery voltage is not indicated between the terminal A12 and body ground with the original ECM PCM, then the IAC valve itself is judged to be faulty. Replace the IAC valve.